Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and what I've got going for today's video is... Well, I had another moment of weakness at Tuesday morning. I know, I know. Huge shock at this point. But, I would like to share it with you. Alright, so what I've got here... I found these... Out of the way, plastic bag. I found these to be incredibly fascinating. These are colored... Uh, excuse me, color tint by Spectrum Noir, 12 pieces. These are tinted graphite pencils. And as you can see, the estimated value of about $23 and the price I got them for at $10. However, I might do some online searches and see what I can find these going for at a few stores. But look at these, these look, honestly, these look awesome. I mean, they're graphite, and, and, um, let me see here. I believe that I saw somewhere on here that these are water-soluble. Yeah, adding water intensifies the tint. So, yes, this time these are water-soluble. Okay, so I was right about that. And, to go with them, this is really tricky with one hand. Ah, come on. That explains a lot. Tape. Be sure to recycle your plastic bags, okay? I got some King Art Shimmery Metallic Watercolor. These are metallic metallics. And they also had more shimmery metallics in colors. So I got the metallic set and I got the, the bright, cheerful color set. And I thought that these might be really fun to use in conjunction with these. Now then, as you can see, these little watercolor sets, they were $4 each, estimated price at about 8 Okay, I'm just rounding up here, okay? But for the purists among you, $3.99 versus $7.99. Are you happy? Good. Anyways, I'm going to swatch these out because that makes me happy. All right, so time to open up these bad boys and see what we're working with. Ooh. Overall, the presentation is nice. Um, I don't see a pamphlet, but oh well. We've got the tin. And for me, that's good enough. Okay, well, it would be nice if I could... Okay, there we go. Got one of the pencils out. Give a good look. Ooh, they feel, like these feel really nice. Like, they just feel quality. And nice gray barrel. I like the banding, and you've got the color right there. This one is moss. I mean, like, ooh, they, they, they just, they feel really nice. And I like this wood. You can really tell that looks like real, genuine wood. I mean, like, and they, they have some weight to them, so I, I like that. So those look really nice. And, ah, of course, tape. Aha. I'm not gonna let tape defeat me. All right, and I have never used King Arts watercolor before, so I'm not sure what to expect. I've used some of their products before, and they haven't been half bad. Okay, so it looks like the palette is cardboard, which for watercolors, I don't really think that's a good idea. And there's no cover, so once these dry after I use them, I'm probably going to need to get like a plastic bag or something to put them in. That or I'll have to save the box. One or the two. Like, I'll, I'll see how good of condition they're kept in. <laughs> so, but for $4, what do you expect? And I'm pretty sure that same story is going to be with these guys. Oh, come on. I mean, like, I've got more watercolors than I really know what to do with. However, I may just have to pick up some more. 
like just to try out more of the King Art brand of watercolor just just because I've still got room all right so now that the thrill of the unboxing is over yeah I'm gonna bring that up you can really get a good good look at it Very pretty bronze color. Now, ooh. I do like the color overall. Not bad, not bad for our first swatch. Anyways, I'm gonna finish swatching out the rest of these metallic watercolors, and then I'll probably use another page to do these tinted graphites and then I'm gonna think of something to draw so um stick around Okay, so here's a overall look at the swatches, and I have to say that they look pretty good overall. In particular, the metallics, they are, well, metallic-y. I mean, gosh, I hope so. I I'm just hoping that these will work together. I do have uh, another palette here so that these metallics aren't quite as concentrated, so that hopefully they'll play nicer with these nice neutral colors. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, it's time to get drawing. Okay, so the first thing that requires mentioning, I need to find more Spectrum Noir branded art supplies because, dang, I loved using these. Don't get me wrong, I've loved using the Spectrum Noir markers, but I have a bias towards alcohol-based markers, but I'm also fond of water-based media, and these tinted graphite pencils preformed beautifully. I actually liked these light muted colors a lot. Of course, this is the nature set, so what do I draw? A unicorn. That's natural, right? Naturally fantasy anyways. Alright, moving on. So my plan was to use the tinted pencils for shading, kind of going for this muted iridescent look, which I'm relatively happy with. The trickiest part was ensuring that the very bright and colorful metallic watercolors didn't overpower these lovely Spectrum Noir pencils. Water. Just dilute with 
a lot of water. Whenever you need to dilute rich watercolor, water is the way to go. The final result? Mm, this was exactly what I was going for. I really enjoyed how these pencils reacted with water. Overall, these tinted pencils were a great find and I'd love to get my hands on more sets. I'd feel secure about recommending these to you lovely viewers. This is my first time using King Art watercolors. Now I find King Art to be a very nice middle of the road sort of brand. So far I've enjoyed the products that I've used from King Art. So if you find any, you might even consider picking some up and trying them out for yourself. Especially if you find them on sale. And I honestly think that these played very well with the Spectrum Noir tinted pencils. A little bit muted, a little bit of shine. I love it. Let me know if you've used any of the art supplies featured here. If so, post below. You know that I love hearing what you guys have to say. Okay, so I gotta say that these right here, all of these, these were just some nice, fun, low pressure art supplies, and I just enjoyed using them. So that's the bottom line. Overall, I would say that both the metallic paint sets and these tinted pencils, all of it, worth it. I mean, I'd have been happy if I paid the original full price, or what Tuesday Morning claims is the original full price, but the fact that I got them at a discount, even better, so the, these, yeah, these are worth it. Overall, I just love water-soluble media, like, especially pencils, they're just I, like the water it just stretches it even further and I just love the effects you can get with it and I love mixing it with things like actual watercolors or markers that while they're not technically watercolors they're water based and thus can be turned into watercolors I mean the possibilities they're limitless and this I just love these really kind of muted but still colorful tones I was able to get. I mean, like I was, the whole time I was just having fun and you know what, that's the important thing. So, with that being said, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at silverhyenaart. So, with that being said, this is Silver Hyena Signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!